Hello, YouTube, and welcome into part two of our Chandragupta Salty Runback game. It's, uh, you know, it's a mess. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> things are things are bad, okay? Hey, who dat? Oh, is that just Vicky? Okay, that, that would make some sense. Bad exploration. Um, again, you know, Civ is a game about opportunity cost, right? So if you decide to go monument first, you cannot go scout first. So can't do everything, uh, and you have to kind of accept and plan for what you can't do um, to go along with what you can. Um, this guy does have the incendiaries, so this is weirdly useful. Look at this. We can get some damage down on these walls. We're going to be able to take some cities before even we get our first Varu. How about it? So what's more important, political philosophy for better government or just getting to our, uh, our unique effect here? So we have 15 turns. How many units do we have by then? Like three, and we're using them on Scythia? Because obviously this war isn't ending anytime soon. <clears throat> I think we have time to go for political philosophy. It's really unlucky that we haven't met a single city-state. Like, that's just awful. But, you know, again, that's part of going going monument first instead of, like, scout or even a warrior. But I thought it'd be fun to do something different. Okay. So this is what we want. We also really want to be running this, um, which is part of my motivation for going towards the, the government as well. Having a, having a general go along with our extra movement and our Varu and stuff is pretty powerful. Pretty powerful. Oh, you do want to make peace. Um, man, I'm pummeling her city for free. That's a really hard choice. You know, I could take out the walls, make her fix them with production. But the faster I start getting 12 gold per turn, the happier I am. And we're just going to redeclare on her soon anyways. Alrighty. Um, water mill's useless yet again. Probably want to start building some Varu. Even though we don't have an encampment here, so they won't get the extra XP. Uh, it, they, they, we can't build horses since we traded one away. So it's either that or get another settler. But yeah, that is... is I think that is just Vicky. It, it's hard for me to tell what color this is. I truly don't know. Love to grab a scout too. I think I want to save my money. We're probably just going to need to um, go right into knights. Badonagon. Writing is easy. All you have to do is cross out the wrong words. So did she deal with those barbs then? Seems like maybe. That is um, a really, really nice with the faith and that going on. But also, I really just... Like, this is temporary anyways. I guess I don't need this. This doesn't do anything, does it? No. Maybe we should go here. Again, just for, like, the, the better road. So that we can uh, take our Varu and then just rush them over. Because this will be going across a river and to... Th through two. I guess we don't have to. We can go around. We can get up here and then go through. Okay, we don't need to. Let's take the valuable one then. Seems all right. Hmm. I, think, I think these barbs have been dealt with. I could certainly be wrong. She's got horses. Stable's coming. This will be nice. This will be nice. What is... uh? She probably went Warrior Monks. Yeah. Played with those a lot on stream. Went out of our way to do a stream where we uh, we, we just really tested them. Uh, and I'm, I'm still just not a fan. I think they're bad. They're they're a fine unit, but what the, the, the cost of getting them is way too high. Is basically what it is. 
Because their promotion tree is interesting, but that basically means you have to have uh, a fully promoted moksha um, so that you get the uh, patron saint so that when you grab your first promotion, it's two. Because without that promotion, they're a bad swordsman. Yeah, tons of land. Kind of works out towards what we're trying to do. Oh, you're happy with me now. Well, you're not going to be happy for very long. Yeah, and obviously Arabia's here. She took another city-state. Isn't it fun? Isn't it fun when we're going to get, like, we're literally not going to meet any city-states because they will all be dead by the time we find them. No fault of our own, really. I mean, this is a lot, this is a lot of space to not have a single city-state in. Yeah, I may have to rethink that. I, I, I really despise that aspect of, of, of deity right now. Um, okay, so we could get the government plaza. Um, that's certainly a thing we can do. We haven't really thought about our districts a whole lot. Um, so this is obviously a point where I'd start to like to economize at least a little bit in the capital. But with, um, with the war needed, that isn't going to happen. So four turns to political philosophy. Um, probably want to start cranking out the horsemen. Take advantage of our pantheon. Um, I could buy that water mill, but then we're still, we didn't, we, we stopped that. Had I gone this way, that might have worked out. That might, that timing probably could have, probably could have saved like a turn or two of culture, but I didn't do it that way. We found the barbs. And that's Arabia. Okay. I'm just going to kind of pull back, have these guys meet up and play it a little safe. All right, here comes the Varu. Huzzah, Varu! Havaru. Havar? Havar? Nope. Don't worry about it. Cool. Um, okay. So, as far as our fronts of this war go, both of these options are pretty appealing to me. I guess I'd rather hit Scythia with knights just because she's kind of past her threshold and, like, my knights will be able to roll over her, her horsemen. Um, I don't really feel it feel like going up against double horsemen to begin plus this is so close and george has really been a thorn in my side for a long time now it's been quite irritating that's tempting to get a good campus going but i don't think it's the right decision we wanna we wanna we wanna war things oh okay so that's that's the other person who's in the game Interesting. Simpena ikan kumira, aku tanpa bisa lumrah aning dasaring samudra. Yep. Hello. And there's. There's the. The 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 leaf eater, Mr. Saladin himself. I assume religion's gone. Certainly is. Um, are any of these interesting to us? Not especially. All right. So how how soon? And do we even need to wait that long? I don't think so. I think we're going to have plenty to take her down, even without our, our uh, special war. See, it's just a really steep cost. Like, getting here is a is a lot. Um, and, it, and it winds up being very, very late as far as when you want to be doing a Varu war. But that's cool. We'll make it work. Let's 
So let's denounce, right? I think we've got enough to get this going. Politics is the art of the possible, the attainable, the art of the There's politics. political. All right. So certainly we're going with oligarchy for the uh, unit XP. Um, this will not apply to ca cavalry at all. Um, so we won't get the combat strength, but the unit XP is quite nice. Want to keep maneuver in there. Eh, no, no, no. Want to keep maneuver in there get the general points going. And not that this is worth anything. Oh, it's pretty good. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so we are, yeah, we're a mere three era score away from a golden age. Um, so let's see. Take over an iron mine <clears throat> would be one. Finding a wonder would be one. Any of these, any of these tech ones, would work just fine. We've got plenty of time to get it. I think we'll be more than okay. It is. It is there, right? <laughs> Military training. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I have that in my head. Uh, as the right thing to do. All right, 15 turns until we can declare that war. Is it really worth it to wait 15 more turns just to get it? That, that puts us at a turn 86 Varu slash Horseman War, which is truthfully when you should have knights. <laughs> but we're not going that route. Why would we? Why would we? Why would we want to do anything uh, the way you're supposed to? That's Damascus. Interesting. So they were fighting early. Got it. No, I don't want to leave you naked. In fact, can you... Oh, I guess we have our um, trader kind of scouting for us. She's probably going to get ticked at my troops on her borders, but that's okay. Protestantism. All right. That's actually one of the better ones, just because it's free bonuses. So I, I like it. I like Divine Inspiration quite a bit. Sure, sure. Six turns, yeah. So mercenaries boost. Gold per turn. I'm I'm gonna save this lump gold for a while. Um, not really sure what we want to do with it. My guess is still going to be knight upgrades. Um, even though we're not really heading that direction, we'll still probably need them. Um, you can slog through wars on deity uh, if, if, if you just if the game goes past a certain point. You need horses. Oh, you don't have them at all. Man, maybe I should war you first. I am not going to trade you horses. <laughs> no, thanks. Good try, though. Look at look at this. It's so like the game is so troll. Like we're we're very clearly an aggressive leader planning for a military game, and they're all like, "Hey, want to be friends? Are you? Do you want to be friends? Because we could be friends. I mean, we could just we could just be buddies for you know forever." Uh, I do think we can we can stay stay friendly with her. <laughs> it's just so troll. And I'm, I'm just deliberate. Like, I think the correct thing to do is actually just to start warring here. But we're just going to deliberately wait until military training because it's fun. All right. Casual 53 turns until knights. This is what happens when you don't get any districts at all. Speaking of which, man, that plus three campus is looking pretty good. I 
think it's correct to do this, though. None of our Varu are go going to level particularly quickly, but that's okay. And we're going to inherit some campuses from her, which is another reason why we should have started warring already. But we should be able to have the um, overwhelming... Uh, yeah, general, general plus our special war plus all these units. Um, it should still melt her. Uh, the issue will be if she gets her unique unit, of course. And then we're kind of boned. You want my horses. I think I'm cooler with that. Because I don't need both. I would like to get her before she gets that holy sight. Gosh darn it. Yeah, we definitely should start worrying. That's alright. Ten more turns. Ten more turns and we're, we're good to go. If bread is the first necessity of life, recreation is a close second. Just chomping at the bit to get out there. Sneak in a battering ram. So we're, we're getting close. We're getting close to go time. We can get out of the uh, general points now and go into unit maintenance, which will be significant. <clears throat> so we get out of this, and we take this and keep maneuver in there to help build our elephants and our horses. Sure. Dohi pasir ikan luih alit. Kawi gatin, pro pranaya ikan lan ingaranan ahayu. She's pleased that we haven't settled a lake or a coast yet. There's our general. That's some era score. Just nice. There's an argument for uh, having squeezed in this city. It feels crazy having two cities right now. I do think it'll work out, though. House fight era ends in 10 turns. We need two era score, dang it. doesn't happen fast enough. That would be enough era score. The plus three campus would work. Uh, let's just look. Maybe a builder can help us out here. Um, water mill we could purchase, so that's some era score. Uh, we don't have iron for an iron mine yet, although are we going to take over an iron mine? Eventually. Yeah, we should have been warring by now. That's okay. Um, so there's one. We could get another builder for some mines. Maybe we spend our money there. That's one, two. I'm going to take over the iron mine, I guess. Yikes. Can we get some mines? So I guess this is where our money is going. Chop, make a mine. Chop, make a mine. All right.
All right, so what are we sitting on? We have four horses and two Varu. About to have three Varu. Probably get a fourth, maybe a fifth. Could we overflow into this campus? I bet you we could. With a couple chops. That would just feel good from a science standpoint. We need we need science. Look at our look at this. It's terrible. Terrible. We don't need it. We can take our time. Alright, we do need to do this. To get that easier mine. And you can chop and get our third one. Probably would have had time to do it the other way too, but that's okay. Three turns. Three turns. And you're still denounced, right? You certainly are. Give me more money. God, we're, we're rich. Not exactly how I want to chop, but pretty much how we have to. Make sure we get this, and then I'm probably buying a water mill, even though we don't need it. Go here, and then down and around. Coming up. It's still just the best. Could probably go here. Just for a future road. We could also go here. For that road. There's some there's some value here. Especially because we get the science. We don't get the production. I'm just going to keep this going. This is the best we can do. So boom. Apprenticeship. And we just need one more era score. For a heroic age here. That will help us um, with loyalty. And holding these cities quite a bit. It's obviously crazy late for like a horse varu war here. But you know. so excited i'm so ready for this i'm so ready let me just declare this war once and i'll call this a successful game <laughs> four turns left on the war unit maintenance is a little outlandish step well technology that would actually be really good because these cities can't grow <clears throat> at the moment I wouldn't mind the feudalism boost either those who in quarrels all right suppose <clears throat> we ready often wipe a bloody nose Losing loyalty over here, supposedly. Okay, yo, you, yeah. Must have two of your cities within ten tiles of of two opponent cities. Warmonger penalties reduced by twenty five percent, and then that will give us our extra um, movement and all that crazy stuff. 
So this is this is the moment. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. This is the whole reason to play Chandrakupta. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can die in a fiery crash, I guess. Okay. General and our battering ram. We are sieged already. Far go up with them. Well, we're basically having a couple fronts. We can kind of take three cities at once here, I would imagine. Oh, and that did it. What did we get our arrow score for? Oh, because of the territorial expansion. Sweet! Deal! I don't even have to buy the watermill. We can save our monies. Alright, on our way to feudalism. Uh, okay. Is this enough troops? Basically 10 units. We have our policy switch now, so if we want to stop making troops, we can. We could put in Twilight Valor for the first couple turns of this war and just continue to have ridiculous strength units. I almost like that because I'd really like to start working on some economy stuff. Like, we need to get a granary here. We need to get our government plaza down. Uh, actually, I think that's the first thing I want to do. Because if we get the building, we can get production boosts and start to start to come back from this incredibly, incredibly slow uh, opener. Doki, it is about to end. Are you serious? So she does have him already. Like that's ugh, that's so frustrating. Hopefully our Varu can help us here. Because they will wreck me. I really don't have a defense against this unit. So all units, including like builders and settlers, get that movement. We're going to need more units here in a second. Get in, get out. Got some bad cities over here in the tundra now, too. All right, there's the cap. back. Heal up. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Can't shoot anything there. Okay. 
Keep our eye on the prize. It felt like we could do multiple saves at a time, but if she's already got our unique unit, we're we're a little more afraid than we, than we just were. Have lived without love. You tread on Sweet. dangerous waters in the face of England and her loyal colonies. Loyalty issues, uh, no surprise, really. The city doesn't even have any of the buildings. The campus is nice. Pyramids? That'd be nice, too. How bad is it? Minus 11. Just because we have you. Let's go there. Three point seven mil. I mean, we'll we'll be able to take multiple cities here. I think so. We're double debuffing this guy. Minus five, minus five. Sweet. Take out the unit. Puts us a little over on our uh, era score, but that's okay. Little bit for the price of killing our unit. Seems fine. around. Alright, this is my territory now, so we can heal here. We just got irrigation, so we can get those step wells. Um, right back to stirrups, I guess. Probably need to start pre-building some war carts here soon. And what do I want you to do? Wow, 2.5 gold. Ugh. general and our battering ram. Let's sit on him. Should probably sit on him. Whoo! Get your sunglasses. All right. Heroic age. Huzzah. That'll help with any loyalty issues that we're having, of course. Um, monumentality seems okay, except we have absolutely no faith. Um, are we picking up any commercial hubs? Doesn't look like it. So I think we take pen. I'm not really thrilled about this. None of these are particularly useful. Um, builder stuff could be cute just because we're about to expand a bunch and we are going to get some, uh, we're going to get some faith gen. Um, had we taken harvest, uh, this would be quite good right now, but I think we'll just take pen. Oh yeah, we get three, <laughs> so it doesn't matter. I'll take all three of those. All right, so we lose our dark age policy. That's fine. Um, what do we want? Produce more units, maybe, so we can simultaneously declare on Scythia. That seems okay. Get a couple builders, maybe get our farms for our feudalism boost, but we're not even really going towards that. That's really far away. Probably just hard teching stirrups, and we're going to build some... Pre-build some knights and upgrade them with the zero dollars we have. That sounds like so much fun. And we can't really afford more units. I can see the builders being good. I'll take the tiny bit of money we get. Alright, so this horseman is 45 strength. That's pretty exciting. There's another one of our units. Look at 
like that. Look at that. Look at that sweet elephant movement. It's quite good. Bring up our archers to like cover the cities that we've already taken. Really don't want to lose any units. That is a lot of barbs up there. <laughs> oh, barbs and Civ Six. Pretty troll. This next. Oh, two of them. You can pillage and hit again. So all of our movement. Got there. And there's our feudalism boost as well. That's quite nice. Man, we really got stacked against really, really brutal uh, opponents here. Unique Knight and her unique uh, weird swordsman. Like right at the right at the time when this actually works. Uh, that's okay. We're, we're, we're going to make it work. Don't care about capturing this. Certainly need to capture these two. And then I think we move our whole army onto uh, Arabia. I just don't know how we're actually paying for these knights. That is my that is my huge, huge beef with Varu. Um, and why I don't consider them to be better than they are. Is that they are three maintenance. Liberate. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I mean, it's not like this is a well-planned city. It is a tile away from fresh water on either side, so it needs an aqueduct to be useful, but uh, we're still going to just keep it. Can we trade anything? I mean, war, war wariness does become a problem. Not quite yet, but as we take more and more cities, I think we're going to just keep our luxuries. All right, give me that throne. That's a weak attack across the river, but this guy was already pretty damaged. Need to take her cat before she can make more of her units. Oh, I could have moved the uh, general over. I eh, know we had it on that attack, didn't we? Okay. Moving on. There are the promotions we need. And yeah, that, that, was, that was a big part about this because we didn't get a second uh, encampment over here. The, the XP of the Varu will be, will be lagging behind 
where I would like it to be. Let's do that for a full housing for them. Since we already got our feudalism boost. Uh, okay. Really like charge. Um, I want to see how much how much more movement do we have? Five more turns. Okay, so that's that was a pretty quick, pretty quick little ordeal taking these two cities. Uh, I'm a, I'm a fan of splitting the the promotion tree with light cavalry. Uh, we'll probably go coursers. I want to take the promotion. I know we can get here, but I, 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 I want to, I want to grab this first. And we can, we can split these as well. It's, it's fine to run a balance, I think. Heal up and garrison. That way we, we aren't losing loyalty here. These barbarians are more threatening than she is. We're still building this. Whoops. Whoopsies. That's right. One more elephant, why not? That way we can have zero gold per turn. Ooh. Defense is superior to opulence. That's how it's gonna be, huh? Do that because that guy was healthy and could actually finish him off. Uh, this we're gonna need Varu for. may wind up losing a unit here if that uh, Kevister attacks out. Keep that one healthy for a second. Um, I'm going to move you guys under the Varu. So that way, if he does attack out, it won't kill this. We might lose an elephant. All right, um, another governor title. Mostly these, are, these, mostly these are here to help us secure our cities at the moment. Um, they'll be more useful later. You can probably just grab a Liang. Hmm. Well, it looks good here. Production still seems good. This, this is actually fine. Nothing else here really helps. I mean, we don't really have that much. We're in a we're in a heroic age, so loyalty should not be too much of a problem. We could get some settlers going. Um, still have to ha have to settle this, so we get our government stuff. But that's six turns away. Eh, let's go feudalism and then builders. I think so. We'll keep the gold going for now. No, we'll put in the builder policy is what we'll do. Because so, we'll use the 30% uh, extra production towards builders to pre-build some builders that will then have five charges. And that's usually pretty good. Usually pretty good. There's some knights from Scythia. Did not lose a unit, although we have uh, some dangers around us. Let's 
bring up this Varu. It's healthy enough that uh, just applying the debuff seems reasonable. At least we took down the walls. I don't really want to get distracted with this unit, but if, we, if we're if we foolish about our attacks into the city, we're just going to set up for an easy um, easy unit loss for, for, for a Varu or something. Doesn't seem good. Yeah, give me that science. Give me that science. Yeah, she can't have too much left. Yeah. Worth. Killed that guy. Now I feel a little more comfortable. We can frankly just heal up a turn and then probably take them all out next turn. Hey, commercial hubs, districts. Oh my god, can we can we build a district? Is that a thing that we can do? That's crazy. Um <laughs> Gold would be the best. See, it's 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 so hard for me to uh get into like a district planning mode in a warmonger game because you just you're just gonna inherit stuff and like you're you're gonna wind up just plunking down districts because why not and you're in control of the game at some point. Uh, I'm very nervous about Scythia though. This is making me nervous. Hey look, minus two gold per turn. Because borrowers have to eat too much. Uh, all right, that is that's our time for this video. Uh, the one thing that that should be nice about these is that they should be a little more punctual, uh, which is quite nice. And I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the series. Um, if you're if you are, drop a drop a sub there on YouTube or follow follow my Twitch twitch.tv slash the game mechanic. We'd love to see you over there in person on the internet. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll talk to you later.